the hometown celebration to celebrate a winner that R.J. Williams has won the Region 3 Entrepreneur of the Year Award. And this is for a paid state region. I'm Sharon Stratton. I'm the center manager of the West Virginia Small Business Development Center office in Morgantown. And uh, I met R.J. several years ago. You happen to be tearing down a house next to one of the houses that I own in Morgantown. Remember, that's how we... How we no, small business people do so many things with so few resources, we can all take lessons from uh, And what's even more significant is they take risk. They take real risk every day in a small business. Frequently, they bet everything they own or hope to own. They risk their, they risk their resources, they dedicate their time, and at the beginning, without almost any exception, it's a struggle. It's a battle every day to make sure everything gets done in time, that you get the business necessary to run your, your business, that you have good employees that are there every day for you. Uh, there are 116,000 small businesses in West Virginia. A little over there, almost 117,000. 116,907, 71, 72. They change every day. But that's how many small businesses operate in the state of West Virginia. Over half of the folks working in, America, in West Virginia's workforce today work for a small business. Over half of the state's gross domestic product, GDP, is produced by small businesses. That's why this recognition is so important. And, and you know, uh, uh, the SBDC, the Small Business Development Centers, um, their task uh, is I'm always awe, I'm, I'm inspired by them uh, because uh, last year, for instance, or the year before last, so last year we have a full year's uh, a group of statistics in a re really a rebuilding year. They help companies generate a thousand new jobs. They saved 1,600 small business jobs in West Virginia and helped helped companies develop 34 million dollars in capital. But they couldn't do it without folks like RJ, without folks that are committed to doing business in West Virginia and committed to growing their business in West Virginia. You know, this is an opportunity for everybody to pop their chest out. We're, we're, we're going to keep all the praise on RJ today and what he's done at the, at the ripe old age of 29. Uh, but, but what's significant is there's a lot of folks that this really stands for. That's why young entrepreneurs like RJ, are so critically important to our economy. He probably started this business because he didn't know he couldn't. He was so young when he started. He, he, he may not have recognized the limitations that so many other people think there are. And he coupled that with vigor and passion and built a business today that's not just recognized in West Virginia, but is now being recognized across this whole section of the country. And he's being recognized as the young entrepreneur, entrepreneur of the year. That is an incredible recognition when you think that just in West Virginia, there's 116,907 small businesses just to go to black years. So, uh, uh, and when you add Pennsylvania, Delaware, Virginia, and I don't know which of the other states, into that mix, the recognition is extraordinary. Extraordinary, and so we're all puffing out and being and proud of what uh, R.J. you've accomplished. This administration, I want to thank you all for coming to R.J. Williams' hometown celebration, our 2012 Young Entrepreneur of the Year. For those of you who I have not met, I am Judy McCauley. I'm the district director for the Small Business Administration here in West Virginia. <laughs> As President Obama stated during National <clears throat> Small Business Week, our country started as an idea. And it took hardworking, dedicated, and visionary patriots to make it a reality. Successful businesses start much the same way, as ideas realized by entrepreneurs who dream a better world and work until they see it through. From the family businesses that anchor Main Street to the high-tech startups that keep America on the cutting edge. Small businesses are truly the backbone of this nation's economy. And I think 
that is a perfect way to describe R.J. Williams, a hardworking, dedicated visionary. You know, the, the SBA Young Entrepreneur Award is given to an individual who's under the age of 30, someone who has operated and owned a business for three years. R.J. was a perfect nomination for this award. Prior to starting his business, he worked for several construction companies in various roles from being a laborer to being a superintendent. He worked quickly, he learned quickly, and he paid attention to what was making those companies successful. More importantly, he listened to the customers. He identified a niche market that wasn't being served. In addition, now, today, he makes sure that his employees are properly trained in the specialties and services of reclaimed company. He's made Reclub a reputable and a successful demolition and asbestos abatement company, not just in West Virginia, but in the whole tri-state area. As the West Virginia Young Entrepreneur, RJ entered the competition to become the SBA Region 3 Young Entrepreneur of the Year. Therefore, he did compete against young entrepreneurs all throughout Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. So tonight, as the representative of our regional administrator, Bridget Dean, please join me as we congratulate our 2012 Region 3 Young Entrepreneur of the Year, R.J. Williams. Well, hello, everybody. Thanks for coming out. I'm not a real big speaker or anything, so I'll just say, you know, thanks to my wonderful staff. And, you know, a lot of people in this room have uh, helped me along the way. And just want to say thanks to everybody and thanks for coming out. I, I, I'm not real good at speaking, so I'm not a speaker kind of person. <laughs> but thank you, everybody. Thank you. How does it feel to be recognized by the SBA with these awards? Uh, gratifying. What do you think the awards kind of say about, about your business? Um, I just say, I think that it says that we have a, a great staff and um, that it also you know shows a lot to our customer base as well. Well, can you tell me a little bit about uh, what Reclaim Company, the work that you guys focus on? Uh, we focus on uh, demolition, asbestos abatement, and excavating, and there's a broad array of things that come along with that, but those are the main focuses. What are some of the local projects you have been involved with lately? Uh, we're involved with uh, uh, the federal post, currently the fe old federal post office in Morgantown on High Street and also uh, the 400 block there in Fairmont, along with several other little projects here and there. 